Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make an animated candle flame in Blender. Let's get started. First, search for candle flame in PNG format on the web and download it. I will share the download link in the video description. Go to the Share Textures website and download the candle model as a Blender file. I will share the link in the video description. Open the Blender file, press Shift S and cursor to world origin. S key to scale up the model. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and enable the Import Images as Plain Add-on. Press Shift-A and import the flame image as a plane. Move up the image and rotate 90 degrees on the x-axis. Switch to the front view. Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. Press Ctrl-R and scroll up the mouse wheel to add loop cuts. Switch to the Vertex Selection Mode. Switch the selection mode to the box selection and select all vertices. Move the plane to the candle wick. Select the vertices, enable the proportional editing tool. Hit the S key and scroll the mouse wheel to adjust the influence circle. G key to move and S key to scale so that the flame fits the candle wick. Go back to the object mode. Press Shift D to duplicate the plane. Switch to the side view and rotate the plane 90 degrees on the Z-axis. Select the first plane and hold down Shift to select the other one. Press Ctrl-J to join them together. Right-click and set the origin to the geometry. Alright, it's time to animate the flame. Go to the Modifier tab and add a Wave modifier. Hit the spacebar to play the animation. Set the wave height to 0.2. Set the width value to 0.4. Set the narrowness value to 1.2. Open up the time panel and set the speed value to 0.015. Switch to X-ray mode and select the vertices. Click the Object Data tab, add a vertex group, and assign them to the group. Go back to the Modifier tab and select the vertex group. Play the animation. That's it. It's time for shading and rendering. Split the viewport vertically. Switch the new window to the shader editor. We can see the nodes belonging to the flame. Press Z key to switch to the render preview mode. Switch the render engine from EV to Cycles. Switch to GPU computation and set the maximum sample values to 32 for faster rendering. Click the World Properties tab and choose any night environment texture for lighting. Set the strength value to 0.4. Open up the emission panel and plug the color node into the color node. Set the emission strength value to 5. Add a hue saturation node. Set the saturation to 1.5 and the value to 1.2. Select the candle and switch to the edit mode. Press L key to select only the candle. Hit the P key to separate by selection. Go back to object mode. In the shader editor, click the two number to make independent material. Open up the subsurface scattering panel and set the weight value to 1. Set the scattering radius to 10. Set the second one to 0.5. Switch the shader type to World. Select the image texture and press Ctrl-T to add Mapping and Texture Coordinates nodes. If it doesn't work, go to the Edit menu and enable the Node Wrangler add-on. Rotate the environment texture 90 degrees on the Z-axis. Go back to the Render Properties Scroll down to the Film section and enable the Transparent option. Open up the Color Management panel and set the Exposure value to 1.2. Add a camera to the scene. 
Press Control Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to view. Click the Output Properties tab and set the resolution value to 1080 to 1080 pixels. Click the lock icon and lock the camera to view, so you can adjust the best perspective. Disable the lock camera option again. Set the animation end frame to 100. Choose any folder you want to save your animation. Switch the file format to MPEG and the container type to MPEG-4. First, let's render the image. Go to the Render menu and render the image. It looks nice. However, we can add a glow effect around the flame. Go to the Compositing workspace. Enable the Use Nodes option. Add a Viewer node. Click the View tab, zoom out the image, and offset. Add an alpha over node. Pick a dark color for the background. Go to the View Layer tab and enable the emission. Add a glare node. Switch the glare type to fog glow. Add a mix color node. Switch the blending mode to add. Render the image. That's it. We can also adjust the glow size. Set the threshold value to 3. Go to the Render menu and Render Animation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.